calls to help. It's been two hours since we spoke, and finally I feel You're calm enough to write this. I realize that your accusations, however shocking and cruel, stem from some weakness in myself that allows you to believe the worst of me. As you and I know, I'm just a small town doctor pushing aspirin to the elderly. But to a certain type of woman, I'm a hero. I need to be a hero sometimes. That's my weakness. That much is true. But how, Moselle, could I have sunk in your estimation to the leachy depths where you would accuse me of deliberately abusing my most beloved child? I am guilty in the sense that I adore her, and I allowed her to adore me. It was a sweet indulgence, but nothing in her behavior prepared me for what happened on the night of the storm. Roz and I had a terrible fight, and I guess it was inevitable. I knew Cecily could never sleep through a fight like that, so I wasn't surprised when she came downstairs. Maybe I was even waiting for her. I let myself wallow and feel your comfort. Moselle, I swear, the first kiss was the sweetest kiss the daughter could give a drunk and guilt-ridden father. A kiss of redemption. In the next moment, it had gone wrong. From my scotch haze, it took me a second to realize that my daughter was kissing me like a woman. This is where I blame myself. I was so startled that I hit her and she fell to the floor. The look she gave me almost stopped my heart. And I knew I had lost her. Moselle, I would give my life to have that moment back. I would hold her and comfort her. We would talk through her confusion, and I would put her to bed with the boundaries between us intact. I love her more than my life. I hope that one day she can forgive me.